It's quiet here at the Rest Haven Memorial Park in Midland. Headstones of loved ones who passed away. But what if one of those headstones belonged to the veteran of the missing Purple Heart? There's no doubt in my mind, it's gonna be going to the right home. Last weekend, we reported Army veteran Gary Kennedy was on the hunt to find the family of the soldier's Purple Heart. Engraved on the medals was the name Jim C. Carter. The medals suggested the veteran was an Army soldier who served during World War II. Gary has received hundreds of tips from callers across the country. From Missouri, Seattle, Washington. I had one from Honolulu, Hawaii. And he says it's time to call the search over. We finally finished the puzzle. We have found the family member. The family member found by phone records reveals Tommy Carter, who used to live in Midland, says his uncle by the name of Jim C. Carter, who passed away in Midland in 1982, was in fact a World War II Army veteran who lived in Midland. And I was five years old when we moved out there. Although he was unsure whether his uncle received a Purple Heart. However, he confirms his uncle Jim C. Carter was shot in combat. In order to receive a Purple Heart, you had to have been shot. In, in World War II, he was infantry. He was shot in the leg. News West 9 spoke with the Military Order of the Purple Heart, who told us there wasn't a national database for all the Purple Heart recipients. However, we got a hold of a nonprofit called Purple Hearts Reunited, based in Vermont. Founder Zachariah Fike is an expert at reuniting veterans and families with Purple Hearts. And this is the only Jim C. Carter that exists by name, Midland, Texas. The fact that they were found there tells me that this is the right guy. Fike found two other veterans with the same name but said Tommy is highly likely the family of the Jim C. Carter medals. One was born 1946, so he's ruled out. One was United States Air Force, so he's ruled out. The other one uh, is our guy that the family found. Kennedy and the Carter family are planning a reunion next week Tuesday in Abilene. He says although it was only a short two days since the report, it was a long process, but is happy to see the memories of a veteran's service finally going home where they belong. Jolena Okazaki, News West 9.